that it must be scale and dialect. But it's not too heavy. It has a, a brightness to it. You can smell that floral aspect of it. The next one I'm going to do, and I'm not really sure about this one, White Lily and Amber. Amber is a really good mixer for me. This, I just love it as a, as a blender. This one, when I first smell it, it does give me those floral notes on the top, top notes, top floral. Um, so that definitely for me would be um, a blender, not an independent, a blender. Ooh, warm Egyptian amber. Amber. So I already know what Egyptian amber smells like. But let's see if this is the same fragrance. Let's see if this gives me the same feel as that Egyptian amber. All right, so it's definitely not the same. There is something a little different than just the regular Egyptian amber fragrance that I've smelled in the past. And I think it might be... It is... It's kind of similar, but it's uniquely different. And I think it might be the jasmine in it. This is a this is good. I'm that one I'm set to the side. This warm Egyptian amber, it's a it's a masculine scent. It has a sweetness to it though. I don't know. Uh, but it does have the woody patchouli feel to it. So this is going to be good for my fellows or people who like masculine scents, woody notes. And you guys are going to see all these fragrances that I chose for my samples. They are kind of tied to one another. Um, so let's see. The next one is Cedarwood and Amber, okay? So, Amber, as I said, I cannot say this enough, guys. Amber is a big one for me. It's a big one for my brand. Um, it blends well. It gives the fragrances just that extra sensual um, smell to it. I love Amber, okay? I love it. Cedarwood and Amber, um, what I really wanted to make sure that I incorporate for my spring refresh is a little more something for the, the males. Amber and vanilla is something that I hold dear in my uniquely crafted mixes because it's going to have one of the two mixed in there. You're going to have your vanillas. You're going to have your ambers. That's radiant auras. Exude radiance. That's how we do it. Cedar wood and amber. Let's see what this smells like. Hopefully it's not too woody. Well, let's see. <laughs> it's woody. Yeah, you get that cedar wood above the amber, definitely. This would be a great all hi okay so here's what you can do uh it's about noon now um if you get too many more customers that you have to kind of like turn away i would make the executive decision to go i mean but the only thing you would be essentially losing your time Yeah, it doesn't. So it would be your call if you want to. You know, you can always um, the cedar wood and amber. That's the one I was on. It is really woody. It's it's no denying sandalwood, <clears throat> patchouli, amber. I don't get a lot of amber, but I do get that woody, those woody notes. So yeah, it is. Sorry. Which one do I want to do next? I have ooh. Let me mix it up and do this. This is something I've never heard of, so I'm so pressed. This was actually the first one I should have done. 
I'm pressed to see this one. Sea salt and agave. Press. Press, 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 press. All right, let me see. This is bright, light, fruity, kind of salty a little bit, like pink Himalayan salt. Oh, this, this. Oh, man. This one is going to be independent. So I said pink Himalayan salt, but it's actually ozone. Oh, yes. This one, this shit right here, <gasps> I knew this was going to be smack. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to keep talking to that one. Guys, this sea salt and agave, I'm not mixing this one. And I mix everything. I don't have an independent fragrance. Just pour it straight from the bottle on my line so far. I've been mixing everything so these are customized mixes uniquely crafted by me i mixed my stuff this one this one is going by itself for sure for sure oh man this one is giving me Man, it's just giving me like, like a tranquil, tranquil, tranquility feel. It's like bright, but it's not too strong. I can smell the undertones of like, I want to say, uh, I want to say like a moss. Like some kind of moss. Oh, yes. Okay. Agave, ozone, sea salt. And then at the bottom, you get a little bit of moss. Two more. Now, this one, I have already mixed on my own independently. It's called French Vanilla and Amber. French Vanilla and Amber. I, w I got this one because I really wanted to see if it's a variation of different scents or just the two. So let's see if it smells like something I mixed. So it's not. It's 10 times better. <laughs> It's 10 times better. So this one is vanilla, amber, patchouli, sandalwood, cedarwood, and oak. That amber is really speaking to me, guys, in this one. But all those other woody notes, it's, it's like subtle. But oh my goodness, you don't even really get too much of the sweet vanilla. It's like a, for it to be... French, French vanilla is not too sweet. Yes, the last one is Asian sandalwood. Asian sandalwood. So I have a lot of people asking for like sandalwood just by itself. So I don't feel good about just pouring sandalwood you know, by itself, making a candle, making a room spray, making a diffuser. So let's see what this Asian sandalwood is like. But it is not traditional sandalwood. So I guess that's kind of what makes it oriental. Oh, this smells so good. I don't smell orange. I do smell that amber and cedar and sandalwood. This is a good one. I'm going to try it. I'm going to test all of these um, in a candle. 
um, I know for sure um, these were the ones that I was most interested in on the site right away. So I'm going to order, reorder. Um, let's see. I don't, I don't really know if I'm going to reorder the cedarwood and amber. I think I'm going to save the, it's, this one. I, I really get firewood. I really get that fireplace that, you know, I really get like a real good fall fragrance with this one. So I'm going to hold off on this cedarwood and amber. Because it's, it's so strong. Like it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Um, so I'm going to hold off on that one. This warm Egyptian amber. But this. French vanilla and amber is a go. Definitely, this is cut. This is in my spring refresh. This is going to be in my spring refresh. It's called sea salt and agave. I don't know if I'm going to do it independently. It's good enough to do it independently, but I, I might just add a tinge of something else to accentuate that sweetness just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't want to make it so sweet that it just smells fruity. Which I don't think I could do that even if I try. It has that driftwood and moss in it. I don't think I'm a mess. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, I really don't feel like I need to mix this fragrance. So this one, this is the sea salt and agave. Um, the only other sea salt, um, what, what is it? What is the other sea salt? Um, I want is right on the top of my tip of my tongue. I have it. I actually use it in one of my candles now. Oh, sea salt and orchard. Yeah, sea salt orchard. Um, that one, um, that one is good. Um, ooh, mixed with some white peach and tea. That's also going in my that's also going in my line, my spring refresh. Um Asian sandalwood is cool. Amber. Let's see. This one is that one. This one is that one. Nah. I was just I had just had a quick thought. But yeah, let me uh, reorder so I can start pouring my text candles. Um, so for you guys over here, before I turned on the camera, I was getting stopped by so many customers. I'm at work at the moment, but I just wanted to kind of go live on TikTok and kind of make a little small video for my YouTube channel. Um, these are the two fragrances that we went through in the beginning. Um, white lily and amber. I'm gonna smell it again because I just don't remember. It's not like the agave, it's not like the sea salt and agave. It's just rememberable. I will never forget that one. Yeah, so I get, I do get the floral aspect of this one, but that amber, that amber adds something different. Like it takes a, a, a floral fragrance and the amber to it and it just gives you a whole different mellow vibe like that amber amber is my favorite y'all vanilla and amber so this one is really good too and then bamboo and orchard bamboo and orchard is the other one we went through and so, I have another bamboo. What was it? I think it had bamboo in it. I can't remember the name of it right now. But. This is a like a a floral green scent with the bamboo. But I do get a salty 
layer in there somewhere. Moss and wood. This one smells really good too. This one smells like something that you would smell when you walk into a spa. I don't currently have a spa day fragrance and I think this just might be it. You, It's just, it's like a a mellow fragrance but you can you can get the hints of that greenery in it this is a this is a really bomb ass spa day feel fragrance so overall guys this is a new fragrance house this is a good starting point for me to make up some test candles. I'm going to get those poured tonight. Uh, well, this weekend. I'm not going to say tonight. I'm going to get those poured this weekend. Start testing them. Um, so, usually, I have the traditional glass, like um, just a regular glass candle. And I just introduced in my uh, February's feature a black five ounce tin. And for my spring refresh, we'll have the five ounce um, tins, but they'll be white, um, as well as the traditional glass and frosted glass. So I just really want to kind of Give something fresh, new, fun. So this is a good, I have so many fragrances at home that I've already kind of been playing with, but I really wanted to get something new, something, something new kind of added uh, to the spring refresh as well. Um, so yeah, this was so good to be able to smell. Now I'm going to go and, um, get these poured this weekend test them out all right let's see let me in here for this 